Nobody owes you anything for slavery. If you want to tell the truth about it, it is you who owes. It's you who owes. Why do you owe? Because somebody in those fields took stripes for you. Somebody after those fields were ended and slavery was ended. Somebody had to walk through Jim Crow for you. Somebody fought wars and died for you. There's something else I'm not supposed to say. Ain't but two genders. All right, fam. So we are back with another video. Now, in today's video, okay, Mr. 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 Mark Robinson. All right. Now, I just I just found out who this guy is. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I just found out who this guy is. But apparently, he's a North Carolina uh, lieutenant governor. This is the type of governor I like, okay? This is the type of guy I like, all right? But anyways, we're going to go ahead and react to two clips of his. Uh, one of them I'm very excited to react to, okay? Because it's about reparations. A black man speaking about reparations, you know? So I'm excited to hear his thoughts on that. But this one right here, I I think he's a Christian. I think he's a Christian because right here say Jesus is Lord. But this right here, I think he is talking about two genders and it only being two genders. So without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let's get it. Let's go. Here's something else I'm not supposed to say. Ain't but two genders. Amen. Two genders. Ain't nothing but men and women. And I can already see WRL out there. They got they licking their pencils right now, trying to write fierce as they can. Get every word of this here. Get every word of this. You can go to the doctor and get cut up. You can go down to the dress shop and get made up. You can go down there and get drugged up. But at the end of the day, you were just a drugged up, dressed up, made up, cut up, man or woman. You ain't changed what God put in you, that DNA. Amen. You can't transcend God's creation. I don't care how hard you try. The transgender movement in this country, if there's a movement in this country that is demonic and that is full of anti the spirit of antichrist, it is the transgender movement. It's time for grown-ups and time for Christians to start standing up and being unafraid to tell the truth. Come after me if you want to. I don't care. You want my head? Here it is right here. Come on, come get it. I don't care because it's time for us to stand up. And I'm not afraid to stand up and tell the truth about that issue. They're dragging our kids down into the pit of hell, trying to teach them that mess in our schools. Tell you like this, that ain't got no place at no school. Two plus two don't equal transgender. <laughs> it equals four. We need to get back to teaching them how to read instead of teaching them how to go to hell. Yeah, I said it and I mean it. Bro, a lot of people don't want to hear that truth. Okay, a lot of people don't want to hear that truth and I don't know why. I don't know why it's so hard for us to speak the truth about that one issue. There is only two genders. Why do we add three, four, five, six, seven, or I don't know? It's not a I don't know, and it's not no, it's nothing after two. When it comes to gender, it's nothing after two. It's literally male and female. The Bible say, for God made them male and female. Okay, there is nothing else. He didn't make them male mixed with i don't know like he didn't make it nothing, nothing like that he didn't make a female with a penis he didn't and none of that. he didn't make a male with a vagina he made male with things you know what i'm saying and and, and females with the, the vajayjay that's what he did and i love how he said stop leading our kids to hell i just said it in this uh in the ryan garcia video i just made i literally just said that the stuff that parents are allowing their kids to have access to is ridiculous. Okay, like kids having iPads and iPhones and all up on TikTok and all. You realize that this transgender stuff is all up on TikTok? It's all up on uh, the Roblox and all up on all these different little kid games that they have, bro. You really got to protect your kids at all costs because trust and believe me. At Look, when, 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 when Jesus come back, you think your kid and the man, look. Your, your, as your kid grow older and they start to to be more 
uh, more advanced than the things of this world and they start to see more of the stuff in this world and they want to be what they're saying or they want to be like what they're saying because you got to understand that the uh, the social media is, is a lot of people that's influencers. So these people are influencing your kids to be something that they was never created to be. Y'all need to watch out and y'all need to protect y'all kids. I'm telling y'all, bro, I'm 21. I have no kids, but I'm telling you because I have a TikTok, I have an Instagram, I have a, uh, I have all so type of social media. I can tell you what's on there. Okay, I can tell you that it is, it is disturbing. It is very disturbing. And kids should not have that. I'm telling you now. But it's another clip that I want to watch uh, of this man. You know what I'm saying? Mark Robinson. This man is just, bro, he, he's a goat, bro. He's a goat. But, uh, yeah, it's another one that I want to watch. And this is on a reparation. So, without further ado, let get it, let go. Watch this man give the hard truth on reparations. There are some people that were talking about reparations in this country. They wanted reparations. And I remember I made this particular liberal so angry at me because I told him right to their face, nobody owes you anything for slavery. If you want to tell the truth about it, it is you who owes. It's you who owes. Why do you owe? Because somebody in those fields took stripes for you. Somebody after those fields were ended and slavery was ended. Somebody had to walk through Jim Crow for you. Somebody fought wars and died for you. Somebody lived less than because they didn't have what you have and they did it for you. There are people in their graves right now and they are there because they were willing to stand up and fight for you. Those folks on the Edmund Pettus Bridge carrying American flags, take that Colin Kaepernick, living in a society that he could scarcely acknowledge, something that he has never known, living with a bigotry that none of us can imagine carried American flags on that bridge. And when they were hit upside the head with knife sticks and shot with water hoses and knocked to the ground, they got up and picked those flags up and kept marching. And they did it for you. Nobody owes you anything if anybody owes it's you because you've been the benefactor of freedom. You are the one that owes. And what do you owe? You owe it to them to get up off your tail and get to school. And when you get to school, you owe it to them to get up off your tail at school and get to work and get some learning in your head. And once you get that schooling in your head and get out of that school, you owe it to them to get to work. And then when you get to work and you get married, you owe it to them to take care of your children. Watch this man give the hard truth on reparation. Y'all, I did not watch this video before filming. That junk was like the best response I have ever heard in my life. I, Bro, I, I didn't watch the video before filming this. This particular video I did not watch. <sighs> Fam. He just he just made me feel convicted. Like, dang, I'm doing that oh. Even though I never asked for no reparations. Okay, I'm not selfish. I because look, I didn't go through what they went through. So why do I need to get paid if I didn't even go through it? That's bogus. You feel me? But he is right. We owe. Oh, we need to get to school. We need to do what we what we uh need to do. We need to get to work. We need to take care of our kids. It's a lot of it's a lot of black kids without fathers in the household. It's like they like what did what did these civil right activists die for, bro? What did these people die for? What did Dr. Martin Luther King die for? Like I'm just saying, bro. They sat there, they busted their butts to have equal rights, and yet, and yet, black people are still just sitting there, just I don't know, like they just still sitting there, just um. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm just a victim. I'm just a victim. I'm just a victim. That's what they are. They, that's what they keep telling themselves. I'm just a victim. I'm just a victim. Instead of getting up on their butts and doing exactly what it is that these people fought for. Come on, man. This was the, that was the greatest response I have. I have nothing to say to that. I have no response. I am empty. I am truly empty because that right there, bro. Who, how can y'all possibly hate this man? How can y'all possibly hate this governor, bro? This is probably one of the best gov. Well, I'm not really in tune with all the governors and stuff, but bro, so far this is one of the best ones I'd have never heard speak. So far, from the ones I have heard, you know what I'm saying? But this, bro, Mark Robinson is a different breed. What he's talking about is pure truth. We need to get up and get on our butts and start to get off our butts and start to do the things that we need to do. You know what I'm saying? That goes for everybody. That don't do that. That goes for everybody. Stop sitting, you you complaining so much about your life, so much about how you a victim to this and a victim to that, so much of how the police hate us and this and that. Bro, this is how I never came across a police officer that, that did anything to harm me, okay? I done been pulled over before, I done, and I came across all good police officers. 
I don't think that I'm a victim. You know what I'm saying? It's not just police. People can say that it, I know that racism is still out there. I'm not I'm not naive to that. I know that there is plenty of racist people still out there. But when it comes to the police, the police force and everything like that, bro, I kid you not. I personally have not came across anyone that has that has literally uh profiled me for the color of my skin. I promise you. I was just at a park today. My car was parked by itself. A police officer came over there and parked right there across from me. Didn't bother me. Let me do what I I had to do he didn't bother me he didn't talk to me i pulled off he didn't pull me up he didn't do nothing he just sat there and was just watching all the cars and, and tracking speed that's all he was doing minding my business he was minding his i'm just saying i never personally came across any any police officer that profiled me for the color of my skin and i know that there's probably people out there who have been profiled but my main per, my main uh my main thing that i'm trying to say right now is don't put it in your mind that you're a victim to anything okay you're not a victim get rid of that victim that victim mentality you're not a victim bro just get rid of that throw that out the garbage you know i throw that in the garbage that's what you need to do okay stop having that victim mindset to think i'm a victim to this and i'm a victim to that you can do anything you put your mind to in this world you can do anything if it's in god's will you can do it okay let me put it like that because whatever is not in god's will and you try to put your mind to at that point you just depend on your own strength and you're doing it outside the will of god because what you're trying to do and you put your mind to it it may not be what god has for you okay so whatever you trying to do and you just uh depend on god and it's in his will it will happen i'm just saying okay i'm just saying i don't know what this conversation just went to but i hope y'all get what i was trying to get at okay <laughs> anyways man shout out to mark robinson bro for this powerful powerful speech for both of them there's only two genders stop adding more to what god has already created because again a lot of people they want to take what god created they want to flip it and they want to make it into their own little thing that's what the devil try to do you know what i'm saying anything that god created for good he tried to turn it to evil but hey what the devil meant for evil Oh, what the devil meant for bad to happen to you, God meant for good. You know what I'm saying? God could turn that thing around and make it into good. So I'm just saying, bro, at the end of the day, trust in Jesus Christ. Believe in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Repent from your sins. Let, just to let you know that this is not a hate message to any LGBTQ folks. This is not a hate message. This is love. This is love because we're telling you the truth, okay? And people who love you will tell you the truth no matter how bad it may hurt. So this is love, okay? All that love who you want to love and God is love and all that. That, that's all bull crap okay that's people just trying to kinder kinder to your feelings cater to your feelings but anyways man y'all um y'all have a blessed rest of y'all day i hope you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to no post notifications been your boy the pen i love each and every one of y'all god bless stay blessed peace